The city of Pune in Maharashtra is renowned for a variety of reasons. Pune has its first science research institute in the form of Agharkar Research Institute. Maharashtra Association for the Cultivation of Science is the parent body of Agharkar Research Institute, was established in 1946. Professor Shankar Purushottam Agharkar was one of the distinguished founder members who led the MACS Research Institute as its director between 1946 to 1960. Professor Shankar Purushottam Agharkar and his wife Parvati Bai donated all their belongings to the institute. Later, the Government of India's Department of Science and Technology DST placed the MACS Research Institute on the permanent list of autonomous research institutions. MACS Research Institute was renamed in 1992 as Agharkar Research Institute in memory of Professor Shankar Purushottam Agharkar. Agharkar Research Institute was founded in 1946 as a research institute of Maharashtra Association for Cultivation of Science. Initially, the research institute started as a platform for retiring scientists who could contribute significantly to the growth of science as well as knowledge in various subjects. Ever since, Agartha Research Institute has grown into a center of international repute under the umbrella of Department of Science and Technology. The vision of Aghalka Research Institute is to excel as an internationally recognized center of multidisciplinary research in science and technology. Aghalka Research Institute envisages the mission to conduct basic and applied research in life and related sciences for human betterment explore the genetic diversity of microbes, plants and animals, develop sustainable technologies for a cleaner environment, agriculture and better health. The research and development activities of Agharka Research Institute span across six themes, namely biodiversity and paleobiology, bioenergy, bioprospecting, developmental biology, genetics and plant breeding and nanobioscience. Biodiversity and Paleobiology Biodiversity and Paleobiology group focuses on research related to living and non-living life forms ranging from microorganisms to trees. Study of micro and mega fossils too is an interesting aspect of research under this theme. Collection of field specimens and maintaining them in repositories has been passionately pursued at the Institute. The MACS collection of microorganisms is recognized by the World Federation for Culture Collections. Collections of microorganisms used in biomining processes, metal and microbe interactions and industrial waste treatment are available with the repository. Similarly, methanogenic and other anaerobic bacteria, alkaliphilic and thermophilic bacteria are housed in MCM. Agharkar Research Institute has a DST national facility by the name National Fungal Culture Collection of India. It is affiliated to the World Federation for Culture Collections and has accreditation of the World Data Center of Microorganisms. The institute also houses the Ajraker Mycological Herbarium, which is internationally recognized. It houses 1,025 fungi and 40,000 lichens. The collection of angiosperms is maintained in the internationally recognized Agharkar Herbarium. It has more than 33,000 plant specimens from different parts of India. More than 2,000 samples of authenticated crude drug materials are also available here. Both classical and molecular taxonomy research is being carried out here. Micropropagation of rare plants is also being done. South Asia's largest repository of diatom specimens with more than 3,000 samples is also housed in the institute. Agharkar Research Institute has the largest repository of fossils in Western India. 
It has 5,500 mega fossil type specimens and over 2,700 micro fossil type specimens. The fossils range between 1,000 million years to 12,000 years. The fossil groups include mollusca, brachiopods, annelids, fossil fish, plant fossils, arthropod, protozoa, and trace fossils. Bioenergy Research in bioenergy spreads across generation of biogas and recovery of oil from oil wells. Frontline research on generation of methane from lignite is promising. Collaborative research with the Oil and Natural Gas Commission on Microbial Enhanced Oil Recovery has been patented. A method is developed to mitigate the problem of air pollution caused by the stubble burning of paddy residues or rice straw in Punjab and Haryana. Bioprospecting Discovering molecules from biological resources is the main focus under bioprospecting. The development of an Android-based app for the measurement of hemoglobin for resource-poor settings has attracted the attention of pathologists. It will be interesting to see how the app works. Current areas of research in this group include semiochemicals as attractants and repellents, understanding mechanisms of metabolic and neurological disorders and cancers, development of novel treatments based on natural and synthetic molecules, development of nutraceuticals for metabolic and neurological disorders, developmental biology, how can a fertilized egg give rise to a complex multicellular organism? How behaviors of cells in the developing embryo direct distinct processes? How genes contribute to the overall development? These are some of the questions to which answers are being explored in the area of developmental biology. A diverse group of model organisms like Hydra, Drosophila and zebrafish are being used to address some of the fundamental questions in animal development. Some of the interesting topics that are currently under intense investigation are cell-to-cell -cell communication, molecular basis of pattern formation and stress response, synapse formation at the neuromuscular junction, regulation of autophagy during development, heart development and regeneration, blood vessel development and stem cell biology, genetics and plant breeding, ARI plays an important role in the crop improvement program. This means improving crop productivity and profitability without sacrificing ecological and economical sustainability. ARI has all the expertise in developing high-yielding, disease-resistant soybean, wheat and grape varieties. It is one of the leading research centers under All India Coordinated Research Projects of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. ARI scientists have so far developed 12 wheat varieties, 8 soybean varieties and 1 grape variety. In this way, ARI scientists are helping the farmers to boost productivity and making the country rich in food grains. MACS 4028 Biofortified Durum Wheat Variety, notified in 2019, supports the flagship program National Nutrition Strategy of the Niti Aayog Government of India, achieving Kuposhan Mukta Bharat. MACS 4028 was chosen for a UNICEF-funded farming system for nutrition project. It was operated through the Indian Council of Agricultural Researchers, Krishi Vigyan Kendras, as part of the National Nutrition Strategy. The farmers are doubling their yield by MACS 6478, a wheat variety bred by ARI. This variety gave higher value of yield, net return and high benefit cost ratio, better nutritional quality with high protein 14%, zinc 44.1 ppm, iron 42.8 ppm, excellent chapati and bread quality. Soybean varieties 
with reduced anti-nutritional factors for making them more amenable for direct consumption are being developed. Grape variety ARI 516 has been released for cultivation in Maharashtra, Punjab, Telangana and Tamil Nadu due to its higher yield, flavor and processing qualities. ARI 516 is a multi-purpose grape variety with a musky flavor and is moderately resistant to fungal diseases. Nanobioscience The focus of research in nanobioscience has been on the development of technology in medicine, agriculture and environment. Various aspects of study involve synthesis and characterization of nanoparticles for drug delivery, vaccine delivery, SIRNA for insect control and topical dressing for rapid hemostasis. Application of gold nanoparticles in rapid field usable diagnostics such as mycotoxin detection in food and feed, viral disease of shrimp and prawns. Agharkar Research Institute has been on a path that strikes a balance between fundamental and applied research. ARI has been at the forefront of contributing in the national missions like Swast Bharat, Swachh Bharat, Make in India, Innovate in India. MACS Agharka Research Institute will continue to serve the nation with its multidisciplinary expertise. The Department of Science and Technology is completing 50 glorious years in the service of the nation through science and technology. This journey of relevance and excellence has not been a solitary one. All our autonomous organizations have played a critical role in driving forth with quality and focus and speed in their respective areas. They have excelled in their pursuits. I wish all the autonomous organizations and their scientists a very successful future. The future is coming at us at faster and faster speeds. I'm sure you'll be fully prepared to meet the challenges and create new opportunities and work for an Atmanibhar Bharat that can be proud of its s depth and spread.